Hello my friends, time to stop slicing and swing from the inside and out. This is two of my biggest money makers. They are paying my salary almost every month and it's really up to how to think correctly. My thinking and my philosophy gives me a draw from the inside and out with a release in time. But why do we need to think correctly first before we even have a chance to do it correctly with a club in our hand? Timing. I think the timing is the number one reason why we hit good drives or slice the driver. Late release, late hit on the ball will always give you a slice. But why is, why is it so common that we can't have a good timing with the driver? Actually, if, if everyone would only hit driver for one year, I think they would all hit it straight. I realized after playing golf three days, I could hit this one very straight and I did slice this one. But I did absolutely the same. The problem was I asked my instructor and he was telling me, no, you need a stronger grip and you need to do that and you need to close your stance. And I, I said, there, there need to be some, some other difference that makes me stupid. I mean, it's something that I'm not realizing when I'm bringing this to the T and I can still use this one. I realized in fairly short time that it was timing. Hitting a driver when I was, I started with a seven iron. That was my first club. Um, I just went into a store and bought a left-handed seven iron. Um, and I, I started hitting golf balls and I, I was fairly good. Even the first day I could, I could use my hockey skills and, and hit a golf ball pretty straight. And, uh, it probably looked really stupid, but it was effective. I was hitting it pretty far. Um, and when I started to hit different clubs, I realized that timing was involved in changing to a shorter club, shorter club and absolutely changing to a longer club. Any slicer I meet, they are, they are trying to hit it straight, but they're hitting it straight too late. If I use my, my seven iron timing to my driver, it will probably look something like this. It's going far left. Because I'm hitting from the inside, it's, it's not going to curve too much, but I never find the ball again. So it's almost, it almost left the range. The club head was open. And if you realize that in, in a golf swing, all the shots are in every golf, sh uh, golf swing. I mean, we start with a fairly straight club and we bring the club back and if I would hit it like that, I would hit it straight left. And if I release a little bit, it's a little straighter. So here's a big slice. Here's a fade. Here's a straight shot. Here's a draw. And if I totally stop my body rotation and just hit with the club, it will be a hook. So all the shots, if I, if I learn timing, I can hit all shots just by changing my timing. But here's the problem. If you don't change how you think, you will never solve your slice. If I all the time try to hit the ball where it is and my club face is always late, if I don't make the change to hit a fantasy ball over there, if I don't change 
nothing will change for me. I'm trying to release the club as early as possible, but most people I meet with slice problems, they need to change their mind and try to hit about here. That's about two, three feet before impact. I want them to think about a straight club right there. And probably it will look a little bit like this. It will be a lot straighter. That's only timing. I'm just hitting it earlier, releasing it earlier. That's why I love the lag talk that we had for in, in the golf world for like 20 years. More and more people are understanding now that you need to release the club. You can't hold it too long. Holding it is a perfect recipe for slice. Holding it too long, if you think that's what you're going to do, I don't know. You won't like my videos. So, actually changing where you try to hit the golf ball, where you try to release, the, you need to change in your mind before you even try to hit a golf ball straight because you're already trying to hit it straight but your straight is probably over there so first change your mind before you even try to hit the ball i only have two rules and we're both talking about them today i swing as much as i can from the inside and out and I release the club as early as I can. Those two works perfectly for me. I'm not trying to do anything at the ball. I'm starting the release back here behind my ear somewhere. It doesn't look like that, but that's what I'm trying to do. So just changing timing, if I want to hit it harder, I really need to understand that the release needs to be at least over here. Otherwise, I will be straight too late that one was not a good hit but still it's not slicing so trying to find trying to change anything if i'm two three feet late here i need to change not to try to hit the ball as i've done for hundreds of years i need to change and really try to do it too early i need to know that i'm trying to hit a fantasy ball over here let's hit a good one not hard but just good come back left side of the green should be okay good i'm using my hands a lot and and uh, that's what you need to do. You need to talk to your hands because they do the release. So if you really try to fix and change where the release happens, you need to change where you start it. And holding it will not make you hit it straight if you have problems with slice. You need to at least change, start with changing two, three feet. See if that helps. Try to hit over here, way before the golf ball. Start with that. But it's a hard thing to do, because if you actually would do it, you would look like this. Haven't seen that one, though. If you have problems with a slice, remember, straight is not straight. Straight is too late. You need to be earlier to hit your straight drives. When we are talking swing path, most people are swinging from the outside to in. If your problem is that you're swinging outside to in, it's not uncommon with 15, 16 degrees with a driver, maybe even 20. And it's the same thing here. If you want to change from outside to in, maybe 15 degrees, you need to, in your mind, stop trying to hit it straight and trying to hit it that way. You need to change just as much 
as you're actually doing it wrong to even have a chance to hit it straight. Because when you think about this line, you swing on that line. So you need to try to swing on this line in your mind to even have a chance to do it on this line. So swinging the club from an inside to out path, it's a little bit like the timing we just talked about. We need to exaggerate going out to even have any chance to have the club going towards the target. This I realized, I was standing in with a friend with a very early golf achieve was a laser based system a golf simulator it was actually really good but it just broke down all the time uh, but when it was working it was really good and no matter what I did it showed one or two degrees from the outside and in and this guy I was standing with he hit it 10 degrees from the inside and I said that's not possible the machine must be wrong and he re he told me that okay Never mind trying to hit it straight. Try to swing as much out as possible. Probably I haven't played golf for more than maybe two years when I when did this, when we did this. And then, then I realized, okay, my mind has no clue. What I think is straight with the driver is actually outside to in because my rotation will bring it in. I will rotate more and even though I try to manage my rotation, not over rotate when I, when I try to hit it long, I still need to understand that if I want to swing from the inside, I really need to think going maybe, I think in my, my mind, 45 degrees out. I just do as much as I can and, and that's usually fairly good. I even had now when working as an instructor, I have many instructors telling me I would never tell my students to try to swing too much out. I always try to, to, to tell them to uh, swing straight and nothing happens. And that's the problem. We need to do it if we are 15 degrees from the outside and in. We need to do it 15 degrees inside to out in our mind to even hit it straight. If we want to hit it 10 degrees from the inside, we need to try 25 degrees from the inside. Hitting this ball, all I'm trying to do is cross the target line and try to swing in the corner. It's fairly easy if you actually let your mind do it. Trying to hit it from the inside with fairly good timing, I, I, I'm probably going to be okay. But you need to exaggerate from the beginning, from day one when you practice. You can, that was 15 from the inside. And I still try to do it more. On practice, I still try to do it more. And, and I'm just telling my brain to do, is, do it as much as, much as possible. And, and that's the key. When I tell people to never mind where the ball is going, just swing out. They're often hitting the best golf shots in their life. Hitting it straight in your mind will not give you a straight golf shot. So always first, change your mind before you go to practice and decide today I'm going to do something different.